Your world just fell apart because your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend is no longer interested in you and is no longer willing to be your partner. Things might have ended on a bad note, or maybe you don't know what went wrong, but one thing is for sure, you miss them like crazy. Getting an ex back after a breakup is not easy by any means. It's probably the hardest thing that anyone will ever have to do, but if you still love this person with all your heart and soul then it is worth it. The pain of losing them can be very excruciating, however, you can learn from your mistakes and work on fixing the things that led to the end of the relationship. A breakup doesn't mean the end of anything, instead, it's only the beginning of something new, something better. Here are 8 steps that will help you while considering to get your ex back. Step number 1, ask yourself why should you even want to get your ex back. When your relationship ends, it's normal to feel a wide range of emotions. You might be upset, angry, frustrated, or even devastated, but you have to remember that this is a normal process. If you're truly committed to working on yourself and improving as a person, then you have to ask yourself if getting your ex back is worth it. You have to think long and hard about what it was that made you want to be with them in the first place. You have to decide if you are willing to put in the time and effort to make things right. The path to getting your ex back is not an easy one. It's going to be full of twists and turns, and oftentimes it will feel like you're going around in circles. But if you really want your ex back in your life, then you'll do whatever it takes to make it happen. Step number two, ask yourself how to know if getting your ex back is worth it. If you want to get your ex back, then you have to really want them in your life. There are no magic words or candles that will make them suddenly change their mind, but if you are truly committed to improving yourself and making things right, then they will come back. If your ex broke up with you, then they likely have their reasons for doing so. The only way to find out what they are is to have an honest, open conversation with them. You have to be willing to take a look at yourself and reflect on your actions and words. You have to be willing to change your bad habits and work on yourself so that you can be the best version of yourself that you can be. You need to ask yourself, what do I want out of this relationship? Where do I see myself in five years? What kind of person do I want to be? If you can find the answers to these questions, then you are on the right path. Step number three, ask yourself what went wrong. It's not uncommon for two people who were once madly in love with each other to suddenly have a falling out and break things off. It can be very easy to hold a grudge against your ex, and sometimes it's better to let go of that grudge and work toward a better future. But before you attempt to get back together with your ex again, there are a few questions that you need to ask yourself first. What went wrong? Why did the relationship end? What are you willing to do to put an end to this breakup and make things right again? There will be times when you will ask yourself why you ever wanted to get back with your ex in the first place, but if you really want them back in your life, then you have to be willing to put in the work. Step number four, make a plan and stick to it. If you want to get your ex back, then you have to make a plan. A lot of the work that goes into getting an ex back is mental and emotional, and a lot of it is self-work and improving yourself. You have to find the things that you need to work on, and you have to be willing to put in the time and effort to make that happen. You also have to be willing to put a time limit on your efforts. You can't just sit around waiting for your ex to come back to you. It's not going to happen. You have to take action, and you have to be willing to put in the time and effort that it takes to make it happen. Step number five, be the change you want to see. If you want your ex back, then you have to be willing to change for the better. You have to be willing to make that effort, and you have to be willing to do what it takes to get them to come back to you. Whatever you do, don't stalk your ex, don't follow them around, and don't try to force them to come back to you. That is only going to make the situation worse. You have to be the change that you want to see in your life. You have to do whatever it takes to make your ex want to come back to you. Think about what went wrong in your relationship, and think about how you can change that. Think about what your ex might want in a partner, and work on being that person. Step number six, find out what your ex really wanted. If your relationship ended because your ex found someone else, it's not worth your time to try to get them back. If your relationship ended because your ex wanted more out of life, then it might be worth your time to try to get them back. 
If your relationship ended because your ex would rather be alone, then it's not worth your time to try to get them back. You don't want to get your ex back just because you miss them or because you think you can change them. You have to be willing to accept them for who they are, and you have to be willing to let go of any anger or resentment that you might still be feeling toward them. You have to let go of all the things that you might be thinking, such as, why did they end things? Why would they want to be with someone else? Why would they want to be alone? You have to let go of all of those things, and you have to be willing to accept them for who they are and what they want out of life. Step number 7. Reflect and learn from your past mistakes. If your relationship ended because you made a mistake, then it's worth your time to get your ex back. There is a good chance that you made a mistake that ended up causing your breakup. If you can recognize that mistake and you can fix it, then you can get your ex back. If you can learn from that mistake and you can work on becoming a better person, then you can get your ex back. Getting your ex back after a breakup is not easy, but it's worth it if you want them in your life again. You have to be willing to put in the work, and you have to be willing to look back and learn from your mistakes. You have to be willing to change and to do what it takes to get your ex back. Step number 8. Build up your confidence. Besides reflecting on your mistakes and learning from them, you also have to work on building your self-confidence. You have to feel good about yourself, and you have to be willing to put yourself out there again. You have to be willing to put up with the pain and heartbreak that comes with getting your heart broken again. You have to be willing to put yourself out there and go on some more dates after being dumped and rejected once again. You have to be willing to put your heart on the line for the possibility of getting back together with your ex again. Building your confidence will take time, but it's totally worth it if you want to get your ex back. These were the 8 steps that you should keep in mind while getting your ex back. Thanks for watching the video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, share and subscribe to get more videos like these. See you soon.